Hello everybody, welcome to our kitchen. So if you don't know who I am, I'm Taylor Earhart. I am a decathlete. Uh, my wife is a triple jumper. So if this is your first time here, that's us. Our dog Chuck is on the ground, currently licking it. Um, so I had to go grocery shopping this morning, so I thought it was like the perfect opportunity to show you guys like our grocery haul um, and kind of what we eat to prep for meats, uh, practices, big competitions, in season, off season. Um, and yeah, we actually needed a lot of stuff, so it was actually the perfect time to do this. So just a quick disclaimer, neither of us are like dietitians or anything. We do kind of eat the same thing every day. So the grocery haul is pretty much the same thing that you're gonna see, uh, just maybe with one or two more things or less things. So. Yeah, let's get right into it. Don't wanna make this video too long. Don't wanna make it too chatty. So let's go. Okay, so I'm just gonna start with like taking stuff out of the bags and just kind of going through it. And yeah, I'll get the big stuff out of the way. Um, so first are just these Ahas. Um, they're just like carbonated water. These are just like a good like little snack drink if you feel like pop, but you don't want to have pop. Just coffee, regular old coffee. We drink coffee in the mornings every day and sometimes in the afternoon if we're really tired, but just good old coffee. And then just regular old 2% milk. Um, yeah, there's not much you have to say about milk, but we drink it in our smoothies, cereal if we ever have cereal, oatmeal, good old milk. All right, next up is egg whites. Um, I eat eggs every single morning, so I usually do a cup of egg whites and one whole egg. Um, it's just like a really good like start of protein in the morning, and then I usually have it with some oats or some bread. Um, so that's one thing that we didn't buy this time was oats because we have a bunch. So just regular old like minute oats or like quick, quick oats. So this, quick oats, one egg. Next up is just some syrup for the pancake. Pancakes sometimes, so we ran out. So to go with the coffee, um, I've been obsessed with this Coffee Mate um, creamer. It's not like terrible for you, but it's not the best. Um, 15 calories per tablespoon. So probably have like two servings of this each morning and then just makes it a little bit better. So sticking with the breakfast theme, we just have some Greek yogurt. Um, Care usually eats one of these each morning with her breakfast. Um, I put them in my smoothies, uh, post-workout shakes, just so that it gets like a little bit more texture to it instead of just like protein and water. Regular old eggs, Care usually has an egg burrito at lunch, so she'll eat two or three. Um, we actually only needed one carton today, but most of the time we're buying two or three cartons um, because, yeah, we just go through them super quick. And then I think lastly for the breakfast-ish stuff, um, just uh, English muffins. Uh, so we've been making our own bread lately. I don't know how to make English muffins or they're like pretty hard to make, a lot more steps. So these are only like a dollar at the store, so we just buy them. Um, like 120 calories for one, they're pretty good, so. All right, so now moving into the fruits and vegetables. Um, spinach, we mostly just make salads out of it. We find the like mixed greens, the ones with like lettuce and baby kale and stuff, uh, they go bad like pretty quickly. We go with the spinach because it lasts a little bit longer. If you guys are ever having problems with keeping your spinach good, um, you can always just put a, uh, piece of paper towel in the top and it helps like soak up all the liquids so then your spinach doesn't go bad as fast. So our fruits and vegetables kind of change throughout the week. Um, it's kind of like what we feel like or if we didn't buy something last week we'll probably buy it this week. Um, so this week is just zucchinis. Um, yeah we usually just like chop it up into like little triangles and then uh, just throw it in the oven. It's super easy. Put some salt and pepper on it. Um, 400 degrees, 15 minutes. It's done. It's a good little like filler. 
And then one more bag of vegetables. So in here, we have carrots. Um, Chuck usually has one of these a day. And then we'll have carrots sometimes, just boil them, salt and pepper again. Um, we have broccoli. It's probably my favorite vegetable. Um, just steam it. You can throw it in the oven to roast. You can like chop it up a little bit, put it in a stir fry. So very versatile and yeah, this is broccoli is probably the one vegetable that we eat the most of. And kind of like broccoli, just cauliflower, same thing as broccoli, but it's cauliflower and it's still delicious. You can make like rice out of it if you want. We don't do that, but you can do that. And it's like super low calorie, good filler. So if you guys are on a diet, cauliflower is a good one. Okay, so next thing, um, I bought some blueberries, frozen blueberries. They come in a big bag. They're just in the freezer because I couldn't keep them out. Um, we put them in our smoothies. If we have pancakes sometimes, put them in the pancakes. Um, and then oatmeal as well. Bananas, um, Kara eats a banana a day. I probably have one every other day. Um, and yeah, just like simple thing to have at practice, throw it in your bag or have it in a smoothie again and yeah we go through like a lot of bananas and then lastly is apples I probably have an apple a day we go with uh, ambrosia ambrosia apples so yeah that's like the only apple I really like if we buy green they're just not as good the red delicious or whatever those other ones are called don't like them so ambrosia apples try them they're like a they're like a gala but like better. So the protein that we buy is usually just like chicken and beef. Um, we usually have like a roast with the beef or just like like ground beef and we just like cook it. Um, we don't need any because we have enough right now. Um, but we have just chicken chicken thighs. They're, so they're boneless and skinless. Um, so we'll usually just like throw these on the barbecue um, and they take like no time and it's really hard to overcook chicken thighs. So they're always like delicious, even if we kind of forget about them on the barbecue. Um, but yeah, just buy like two packs of those. Um, we'll usually go through these in like three or four days. Um, so we always have like a big amount of protein at dinner. Um, and then I'll bring the leftovers for lunch to get a good amount of protein for lunch as well. Um, so yeah, other than that, we just have like the ground turkey, ground beef, and then just um, chicken breast as well. But they're all in the freezer because we stocked up last week. A quick and easy lunch is just to make some rice, um, which again, we have a bunch of, but white rice, just regular white rice. and tuna so if I don't have leftovers to bring to work um, that's a good like staple that I do just like one or two cups of rice with one or two of these um, so just in one of these it's 110 calories 13 grams of protein 3 grams of fat so these ones are like a lifesaver because yeah you just heat up the rice at work open these pop them in they already are like kind of sauced with like some uh, spicy Thai chili, so super easy, super good one. So if you're on a budget or you don't have much time, tuna, cold cuts. I know they're not like the best for you, but again, if you can't get your protein from other sources, these are a good like fallback plan. And one of the last things, um, is some grapefruit juice. We don't drink a lot of juice in the house, but grapefruit juice, I take it with my um, supplements. So like my pre-workout, I'll take it with grapefruit juice. It just helps like boost the effects of the caffeine and other stuff in it. Um, if you're on like any medication, don't take grapefruit juice with your medication because it can make the medication work more, which sometimes isn't good so if it's like 
a heart condition or something like that. So just don't take it. Your doctor probably already told you. But for caffeine, I take this um, with it. Just like not even a cup, like a half a cup. And yeah, just an easier way to get a, a better effect. And then this is a bad last thing to end on, but just uh, just like simple granola bars. I think they're only like $4 at our store. So they're just like a nice, quick, easy, like if we get home from track and we're just like starving, I can kind of just have one of these. They're not the greatest for you, but it, we could be grabbing worse things when we get home from track, but obviously we could be grabbing better things when we got home from track, like fruit or something but sometimes you just don't want fruit. So we go with granola bars. Okay, lastly, the last couple things that um, we usually buy, you just have to buy it in bulk, um, is uh, flour. Like I said, we have been cooking our own bread. Oh my God, they're so loud. We've been cooking our own bread. So just like simple flour. So yeah, guys, that's the grocery haul. Um, just a couple other things over here, um, but yeah, that's it. That's all. There it is in all of its glory. Some of the stuff is already in the fridge though. Hey, bud. Okay, they're being really, really loud now. Um, so I'm gonna finish this video. So if you guys have any questions about like what, how we prepare everything, um, just comment below and we'll be sure to answer that. If you guys like the video, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, we put out a lot of good content uh, with training and stuff like that. So don't forget to subscribe. Chuck is sniffing all of the chicken. Um, and yeah, that's a grocery haul. That is the end of the video. So we hope you have a good one. And yeah, just like stay safe out there during COVID.